Raccoons have been around for nearly two and a half million years, but the first opportunists appeared much earlier than that. Being able to eat pretty well anything was by no means the basic condition of mammals. The very first of them, contemporaries of the dinosaurs, small and insignificant creatures, had such tiny teeth they probably ate little but insects. But specialist omnivores did eventually appear among the prehistoric mammals. One lived here in South Dakota, though then, of course, the climate and the vegetation was very different. It's called Dinahias, and some experts have likened it to a kind of killer warthog. This animal was as big as a rhino. It had a large hairy crest running down its spine, a long snout, and a formidable set of teeth. Dinahias died out about 20 million years ago, but its teeth can tell us what it ate. At the back, it had massive, flat molars that could grind up almost any kind of vegetation. But it wasn't a specialised vegetarian, because the teeth at the front didn't have those sharp, chisel-like teeth that an antelope has. Neither was it a specialised meat-eater, because the teeth at its middle jaw are not the slicing, sharp, dagger-like teeth that a lion has. Nonetheless, these are pretty formidable. So are the big tusks at the front. In fact, what you have here is a generalised toolkit that enabled the animal to deal with almost anything. Dinohyus may be extinct, but teeth like these are typical of all living omnivores today. <laughs> 